Hi everybody, welcome to a DreadFX cool gadget for the studio for mixing paint. We've got a Vortex paint mixer. This is the one that I've picked up off Amazon, nice and cheap. There's been a few reviews I've looked at this on sort of YouTube. People say it's good, people say it packs up within like a few months. I think it's the look of the draw when you're getting something from China, it really is. You're either going to get a good one or you're going to get a bad one. But this thing, I'm going to be using it every day, mixing paint. So I'll see how long it lasts and I'll do another, another sort of review on this for you. So this is the one that I've got that's in the screen now, 25, about 25 quid, you probably get it cheaper. Um, you have a three pin plug or you can get on with a two pin, but you need an adapter if you're in the UK. And basically all they do is you see these in sort of labs where people are mixing on with the test tubes. And, and what it does is when you press down on the top with your bottle on it, with the vibration, the way it goes, it makes the paint spin like a vortex and spin round. So I've literally just sat here moving these bottles over and just mixing them up. I first said to the missus, I've brought you a gift and put it in a hand and turned it on. You ought to have seen the expression on her face. It was quite funny. So yeah, if you want to use it for something like that with your missus, I think it'll work great. <laughs> so right, we'll try some paint. I'll move in closer. I've got some Liquitex that's separated. So if you can see that, you see the separation on that where it's just like inks at the bottom and the rest of it's like liquid. So what we'll do is we're moving closer and you'll see how it spins this up and mixes it. Right, I hope that's picking it up. I'll do one of my small bottles and just show you what it is. I've got some shakers in here and you just press down like that, spin it that way. Now you can hear the ball bearing shakers. Now you can see that little collar there, the little sleeve. That like little sleeve there, you'll see that just starts to spin round. It's just making the ball bearings do this inside and spin up. Just flip it round a couple of times and you get the perfect mix. What I found with this is with the FW inks, when you mix them with ISO, you'll get a separation. The ink will settle to the bottom because the alcohol is a lot lighter and the ink will just form at the bottom. So when I was mixing these, you could see it spin up. Now you can put different size bottles. We've got the, you put the bigger bottles on like that and it's just touch sensitive. The minute you just sort of just press down, you can hear the ball bearings inside spinning up. Do that. We'll get this one that's not mixed. See it spinning round. Do it that way. It's good it's not one of these. That's it. A couple of times and that's completely mixed up. But it's doing that with it in the bottle. When you look up close, you can see the pigment going round. And that's gave that a proper good mix in the bottle. So I think it works really, really well. What I'll do is I'll put some liquid in here. I'll drop a ball bearing in. We'll just see what this looks like with a ball bearing in it, spinning round. See? You see that, how it spun that up then? You can see it spinning. That's what it's doing to your paint. Do it that way. So it really does give it a good spin up. That's what it'd be doing to your paint inside. Mixing it up. So a great bit of kit for mixing paint. So there you go, that's sort of like the best sort of review I can do for you. As I say, nice and easy. Just sucker pads to the bottom on a smooth surface, plonk it down and it, it stays where it is. And I'll be using this sort of every day because paints will settle. If you're going out your studio and you come in the next day, the paints are gonna separate and settle. So just literally, just before you start to paint, quick mix, like that and that. 
and then your paint's good to go. You can put it in your brush and you're ready to go. But you've seen how it mixed it up when it had the clear water and you can see how it spun up. And that's exactly what it's doing to your paint and it just mixed the big bottle of Liquitex and that had completely separated because I've not used this ink. It was completely separated from the ink to the thing and it just gave it a really good mix. So I think they're really handy guys. I mean, yes, you can all shake your bottles, you know, you're doing this and it's just doing this with your ink and your paint going backwards and forwards with the ball bearing. And with that, it's, it's creating like a vortex inside and it's spinning the ball bearing up and it's getting a better mix. So I'll leave a link in the description to the one I've got. Give it a pump. There are dearer ones. I mean, you can pay up to a hundred pound for these things. This one was like 25 quid. We'll see how long it's going to last. I'm going to abuse it, use it like it should be used. I'm not going to just now and again, it'll be every day because I'm painting every day. I'll get to use this every day and we'll just see how long it lasts for 25 pounds. So hope you enjoyed my little review. I might um, take it indoors later, put a smile on the missus's face and I'll see you lot in the next one. Cheers. Music